Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Today I've got some breaking news. For the first time in actually forever, I get to break some news to do with the NBN. We've got a leak that's come out on the very, very fantastic forums of Whirlpool. And of course, this was shared by a friend of the channel, Ahmed. So big shout outs to him for getting this information to me. I'm super excited to finally break something that is a bit of a leak. I guess you would call it. So let's get started and talk about the newest network termination devices coming to your NBN connection to enable multi gigabit speeds. Let's roll the intro. Now it all starts in a little post on the Whirlpool forums. I will of course blur out the usernames. We don't want to get anybody into any trouble. But of course, if you search for this, you will find it. I want to point you to this section right here. Pointing out also FYI, here is a new NTDS. And there's a link there, we'll get to that. Launtel out of all the RSPs has confirmed this for this user right here. What does this actually mean? Well, it means we're getting a new modem to stick inside your home when the multi gigabit speeds come alive. And this, of course, is in 2025. Now, a few comments below, there is somebody else mentioning that the UK has a similar model from Nokia, and I'll get you some more information on that in a moment. It comes with one 2.5 gigabit port and another model with a 10 gigabit port. So let's jump into the screenshot that was shared. Here is the screenshot with the NBN logo on it, and you can see there are two devices. Uh, let's have a quick read. We'll introduce two new NTDs to support customers on fiber to the premises, the new FTTP NDDS, along with upcoming new HFC NTDs. That's interesting. We'll support the introduction of new multi gigabit plans scheduled for launch in September 2025. So here is what they suggest. A single port NTD proposed to be the default for most customers, including all residential customers. So that will be a max speed of 2.5 gigs. And on the four port NTD, it includes it for customers purchasing built for business plans, 500 down, 200 up and above, multi-service residential customers, and it has a fee of 100 for all customers. So obviously that is a more costly product than the single port NTD. And look, ultimately, this is fantastic news, but it also proves why fiber is by far the best choice for the, I guess, infrastructure in Australia, actually the world, because you don't have to upgrade the cables. You only need to swap out the devices on either side of said fiber cable. This is really awesome. Let's continue. Speed test capability. We'll be introducing speed test capability for their new FTTP NDTS, enabling RSPs to provide greater certainty in assurance scenarios. Speed test will be available six to 12 months from launch. So there'll be another system for you to test. Well, actually the RSP will probably do it for you, but it'll be integrated into the modem. So more control and more ability to give you supports. Let's have a look at the key callouts here. New smaller form factor design with improved environmental credentials compared to legacy fiber to the premises NTDs. RSPs testing expected to open from 14th of April, 2025, aligned with the multi gigabit plan testing. This is gonna be really exciting if I can get my hands on it, but they'll obviously be testing things out in certain regions. We'll see what happens. Now there is a single port NTT and wall bracket. So you can see what it's going to look like. It's gonna cover the ports so they're not sticking out. So it doesn't look ridiculous on your wall. And the device is much smaller. As you can see, compare it to the size of the ethernet port. It is nice and lovely. Now this photo looks like it is from a couple of slides provided to RSPs to obviously present to them what the plan going ahead is. Now the device is actually a Nokia ONT XS 01X. Now, it might not be the exact model, but it is pretty much from this type. Now, this interesting part is it could also mean that the single port could go up to 10 gigabit because the benefits and features, as it says here, is it enables operators to capture new revenue with services that require 10 gigabit symmetrical. Folks, this is massive. If the new NTDs support 10 gigabit symmetrical, even if it's a single port, doesn't matter, you'll be able to get incredible speeds and this will future proof it for a very, very long time. This is massive. 
Now, there's a whole bunch of other features and functionality that is here. It does take a, uh, about, I think, a 12 volt, one amp, so it's not very power hungry. After all, there's not really that much power needed. The light goes down the fiber optic cable into this modem and it's done. So the power consumption is less than 8.6 watts. Now, I assume that is per hour, per what hour? Um, what's interesting is the operating temperature is from minus five Celsius to 45 Celsius. Now, there are places in Australia where it reaches 45 and some rooms can get quite hot. So I wonder if ventilation will be um, an issue for this. So there you have it, folks. Big thanks to Ahmed for sharing the story with me. I would have never caught it. It's just a little message inside a big forum post. That forum post has been going on for many, many years, but today there was a juicy post. So big thanks to you, mate. Much appreciated. Of course, make sure to like and subscribe for more dirt reports like this and maybe more breaking news like this. I, I am so excited about this. this is massive. And you know what? 2025 is going to be massive. Now, excuse my voice. I am losing it. I'm get, probably getting sick. And so it's time to sign off. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.